Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is on the Sunday Glam Get Ready With Me makeup look which I wore on this weekend uh, for a birthday party which was during the day. So I thought I should film this video and should tell you how did I get this makeup look. So to start with, I primed my eyes with the MAC Paint 24 primer. Um, I did my base already off the camera and my brows as well. So just uh, priming my eyes uh, so that they will not be increasing and my eyeshadow will go softly. You may see a lot of fluctuations of the light during this video because I was playing around um, with my laptop and camera, connecting the camera with the laptop. So there was a lot of light fluctuation which was happening. So sometimes my face was a little red, sometimes it was light. This was my expression when I find out that there is fluctuation of the light. Now I'm using this NYX uh, color corrector because uh, you know the main problem with the Asian skin that you have more pigmentations and under eye circles. So uh, just color correcting my under eye area so that my skin, con so that my concealer lasts long uh, and will not make my eyes look tired. For concealer, I'll be using my Maybelline Age Rewind Instant Under Eye Concealer. Um, <laughs> well, I will drop all the names in the description box below. So, uh, just concealing my eyes, some usual areas. I personally love this concealer because this works so perfectly for highlighting as well as concealing. And this is such a complete coverage concealer. So, putting on my under eye area and on the bridge of my nose and add some pigmentation around my mouth so just covering all those areas so now with the help of my beauty blender I'm just blend gonna blend all this I I wet I did uh, my I used uh, I used my wet beauty blender um, I put the some of the fixing spray um, I don't know what is happening. I'm not able to use the words as usual. Nothing new. So use my wet beauty blender um, and just blend all those areas. Now I'm gonna bake my face with my Ben Nye Banana Powder, that's a loose powder. So just with the help of a beauty blender, I'm gonna bake all those areas where I put the highlighter. And those who are uh, those who are pretty old to my uh, YouTube channel, they have seen me doing this almost all the time. So I'm just gonna take it fast forward. So as soon as I started doing my eye makeup and I put my camera on zoom, I realized that I have lost all the video which has this whole eye makeup look. But I will put all the details in the description box. But uh, here uh, I already did my one eye and I really wanted to film this one eye. And I used my Huda Beauty palette which is in rose gold edition and I used... Um, Hold on, wait a minute. I use my sandalwood and mix of henna on my crease. Then on my V, I used shade cocoa and then I blended it pretty well. Then um, for this glitter on the remaining eyelid part area, I used moon dust. And now with the help of the beauty blender, I kept on uh, diffusing those um, colors. Now I'm gonna take this cocoa shade and I use this cocoa shade on just the outer V of my eye and I was just telling to my husband that I have lost all the video or I forgot, not lost actually, I forgot to press a button of filming the video and that's how it happens. So just to make this, um, just to make this color pop up or glitter pop up, I uh, 
make this uh, V corner very intense and I put and I took that cocoa shade on my crease as well and just blend it very very carefully so that there will be a proper transition from a lighter to the dark as I always emphasize that transition is the key uh, from lighter to the darker shade or from darker to lighter shade so whenever you are doing such a smoky eye or such an intense eye look you will have to blend all the shades now I thought that I should mix up this cocoa shade and the gold glitter uh, together so I used shade angelic right in the middle and just on the top so that there will be a proper diffusion of the color And I keep on adding the shade cocoa so that um, I get a proper mix up of the color and keep on blending all those edges and sharp lines wherever I found that there will there is not a proper transition is happening until the time I'm not happy the way it looks. Now when I was happy how the eye my eye were looking then I used my a day eyelashes which is in the natural and put my falsies on. I didn't want to go very dramatic in terms of the lashes so I used the natural lashes. Now when my eyes are done, I took my kabuki brush and press that loose powder under my eye area, under my skin, just pressing it down, no wipe motions. I will work on my lower eyelid and for my lower eyelid, I will be using the shade Coco from the same Huda Beauty Rose Gold palette and black truffle and a bit of henna. And for my liner, my ultimate love for this particular liner, such a great liner if you are a fan of a wing liner. Uh, this comes with this angle eye brush and this is Tartia's clay paint. I looked at the reviews and I find out that everybody who is fond of wing liner, they have given it the utmost uh, trade. So after my wing eyeliner, I move on my lower lashes. For lower lashes, I took this black shade from the Huda Beauty Rose Gold Palette, which is black truffle, and worked just close as close to the my waterline. And then on the inner corner, I worked with the shade called Coco from the same palette. I'm just gonna mix it together so that there will be a proper diffusion of the color. Then I took the shade Henna on a blending brush and just blending all those sharp edges on the bottom lash line. This is new mascara from the L'Oreal which is Lash Paradise. Beautiful one, make your lashes very thick. Um, nothing so um, expensive so definitely a great one. Now to contour my face, I used NYX Contour Palette which is in the powder one. I didn't go for a cream contour this time. And for blush, I used my Maybelline Fit Me blush in the shade of wine I guess. I will definitely drop down everything in the description box. And just was on on my uh, cheeks, apple of my cheeks. I use my Maybelline Master Chrome uh, highlighter in the shade of Molten Gold to highlight my brow bone, my nose, and the Cupid bow. This is such a great golden uh, highlighter. Um, I think perfect for the Asian skins, those who have those 
uh, kind of a medium to light touch so that is the master chrome which i have used i am really in love with this one and this particular uh, lip shade i was looking for this particular shade which looks like this orangey bricky red sort of on my skin tone and this is from infallible l'oreal infallible and i mix a little bit with the nyx also so that um, this stays la last longer because um, i really didn't want to scare people once the lip lip color goes off so so i mix with the nyx lingerie uh, lip shade because i know that lasts a little longer and i used this one for the first time so i wasn't sure that how much this is gonna last on my lips because you're going for a party you're gonna eat as well i will mention uh, the shade and uh, the color in details in the description box you can definitely check it out So before I set everything with my setting spray, um, I went ahead and I used my Kabuki brush and pre pressed all the product which I have used on my skin. Um, just a simple pressing motion, nothing fancy, nothing very hard um, so that I'm sure that everything is on place. Now with the help of my Tarte setting spray, I am going to set the whole game. So just spraying uh, so that it lasts longer and this is the final makeup look. For hair, I didn't go anything crazy because I was running out of time as usual and so um, and my hair grew wet too so I didn't have so much of time so that I tried first and then so just make it keep it like this and um, as you have noticed my hair color is changed this is black and some some highlights of a blue so this is the final makeup look I hope you guys have enjoyed this video if you did do not forget to subscribe like share and subscribe comment on my channel stay updated on instagram and snapchat and that's all for today bye and good luck